Good evening, everyone, and welcome into Nashville, Tennessee. It's conference basketball OVC style as the Tennessee State Tigers host the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. Both teams have not had the best of years. Five and 15 for the Tigers. Two and six in the OVC. Meanwhile, UT Martin, six and 13. Just one and seven in the OVC. But good news for the Skyhawks is that they are coming off their first conference victory against SIUE. As for Tennessee State, three straight losses for the Tigers, including a visit to Belmont, a visit to Austin P. And their most recent loss, a 38-point defeat against Murray State. So TSU looking to rebound here tonight under first-year head coach Brian Penny Collins. You take a look at the team comparison here. Here's some season stats for you. Both teams shoot it almost exactly the same with UT Martin slightly better. Three-pointers almost even. Free throws slightly better for the Skyhawks. Rebounds right around the same. Turnovers, UT Martin winning that battle. And right around dead even in steals. If you are a betting man or woman, this game, tough to bet. Both teams have not started out the way that they were hoping. And for Tennessee State, after a four game road trip, very welcoming thoughts to be here at home tonight in the Gentry Center. Tough to believe we are pretty much at the midway point of conference basketball. Ninth conference game of the season for both of these teams. So we get set to start announcing the starting lineups. UT Martin first first up, getting a little little clapping from the fans here. A couple couple orange shirts, jackets, t-shirts in the crowd. They're spotty, but they are they are here. Good crowd on hand tonight to watch the Tigers try and get a big win here at home as they get set to announce. Their starting lineup. And here are the starting lineups. The senior, Armani Cheney. 5'10", out of Chicago, Illinois. Averaging just under nine points a game this season. He will start at guard. Followed by Trip Davis, who's been effective for this TSU team over a good stretch of games. Nashville native, Trip Davis, 6'3", redshirt junior. Hometown kid from right here. And out of the Bronx, Emmanuel Egbuda, 6'7", 230-pound junior forward. Egbuda, kind of a guy that likes to Bang down low, get scrappy. Mar McKnight, team's leading score right now after Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey missed a lot of action. Tamar McKnight has had to pick up scoring and Stokely Chafee Jr. also getting the start, a 6'8 senior out of Oakland, California. Brian Penny Collins, the head coach of this team. In his first season, and I gotta see this sweatshirt he's got on because it's pretty awesome. As for UT Martin, Quentin Dove, the man to watch for the Skyhawks. Dove, 12.3 points per game and leads the Skyhawk team with 34 dunks so far this season. 
So Quentin Dove, the guy to watch. High flyer, can get up, throw it down. And it could be on hand for a pretty good game tonight. With both of these teams towards the bottom of OVC play, but a chance today, tonight, if you will, to kind of get back in the win column for TSU, get a second consecutive for Tennessee Martin, and we are underway here at the Gentry Center. Inside, there he is, Dove, first shot of the game, no. Up there to put it back was Jalen Gill. Gill, a 6'8 senior out of Kansas City, Missouri. There for the follow. And UT Martin, only eight guys on the floor and on the bench for them tonight as Armani Chaney loses that ball out of bounds. Again, UT Martin missing three players at least tonight. Total of eight. And their rotation. Most teams only have a rotation of eight guys anyways, but see how this will affect them, how they play. Not a whole lot of options on the bench. Hawthorne outside, baseline jumper from Gill. His shot won't go, and here comes Armani Chaney. Egbuda inside, working on Dove. And that's a big early foul on Quentin Dove as Egbuda went right at him. And that's got to be a strategy. Take him out of the game, and you've got to be feeling pretty good about yourself if you're Tennessee State. And Egbuda goes to the line for the first free throws of the game. Manuel Egbuda, perfect from the line so far. He's only a 50% free throw shooter, but gets both of those. Hawthorne, pull up no good. Dove battling down low for the rebound. And I believe he is going to draw a foul. It's on Stokely Chafee Jr. Who has been in foul trouble in a few of these games in the past this season. Picked up some early fouls and he's got one here. As Dove knocks down his first of two. Quinn Dove, 80% shooter from the free throw line. Team's leader in field goal percentage as well, 56% on the season. And knocks his two freebies down. And who does Tennessee State look to? Davis outside to McKnight. Long triple from McKnight and rebounded by Hawthorne Jr. Hawthorne throwing it off the glass and Egbuda able to come away with the rebound. Cheney to Egbuda. Egbuda slashing in. And we're tied early at four piece. Emmanuel Egbuda. Quick four points for the Tigers. Jumper no good, rebounded by Dove, and he is there for a follow jumper, Quentin Dove. Stokely. 
stolen. And now UT Martin going to set it up to try to add to an early lead. Outside, three on the way, not quite. Egbuda had the rebound. Looked like it went off a UT Martin player. And into the game. A few subs for Tennessee State. As Delfinko Bogan will inbound. Hawthorne, nice cross, step back. He can't get it to go. And Tennessee State comes away with the rebound. It's Cheney. Corner to McKnight. McKnight likes what he sees. Nothing but net. Kamar McKnight connecting to give Tennessee State a one point lead. McKnight from the corner. Little try to throw it up for someone. Doesn't happen, but guess who's there? It's Quentin Dove. And Dove is already showing how effective he is early in this game. Here's McKnight. That's his good hand, and Kamar McKnight. Able to answer the Dove bucket. And we've reached the under 16 minute mark with the Tigers holding a one point lead. It is TSU 9, UT Martin 8. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back on ESPN Plus. It has earned its place in one of the top hundred courses. A masterpiece of architectural design, Tom Fazio has created a world class golf experience among a distinctive blend of dramatic scenery and natural beauty. Its accommodations are luxurious, while a full-service concierge team pampers your most valued clients and creates lasting memories for family and friends. Victoria National, America's private retreat. A smile, such a simple gesture, an effortless contraction of muscles, a flash of teeth. Healthy smiles have the power to spread joy, courage, and love. When you smile, it transforms you and the world around you. So if you feel the urge, go ahead and use that simple gesture to spread joy. Keep your smile healthy and strong. Choose Delta Dental, protecting more smiles than anyone. Oh, look, honey. <laughs> I see mounting hospital bills due to a rickety ladder. A fall? A hospital. <laughs> Oh, wait, I see a woman in red. Bill. Where? There. You can't predict the future, but you can prepare for it. Call Farm Bureau Health Plans about affordable Medicare supplements, Part D drug plans, and Dental Vision Silver. We've got you covered. U.T. Martin. Some early points for Kamar McKnight. He's had a couple buckets to give the Tennessee State Tigers the lead. McKnight's got five, and Quentin Dove has got six. Armani Chaney from the corner. And TSU extends its lead to four points. Triple. Not going to drop for Kevin Little. And good hustle, good effort for the basketball is going to give UT Martin possession. So only eight players tonight for UT Martin. Seven of them have played in this game. Inside, no way. 
Battle for the rebound. It seems like Tennessee State is getting to the basketballs. There's a lot of their own players battling for the boards. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey, his jumper, no. Dejan Henderson there, and he goes to the floor to try to scramble for it. And a kick ball. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey off his foot. Hawthorne outside, two ball from Craig Randall. His first shot of the game is no dice. And here comes Cheney for TSU. Trying to get Egbuda down low. He's getting double teamed. Henderson, he'll step up. Nothing but net. Dejian Henderson beating the shot clock. Big bucket early and great defense by Henderson the other way. Inside, Egbuda almost with a massive throwdown. Instead, it's Michael Littlejohn who drops a big time three and it's Tennessee State off and running. A nine point advantage for the Tigers, a 10-0 run. And TSU off to a great start. Little, no, rebounded. And Agbuda tangled up with look like Craig Randall. Derek Hawthorne actually charged with the foul. And Tennessee stayed off to a very good start. Seems like even when they're not scoring, Egbuda almost with a monster throwdown as if he just missed it and then that that ended up as a Michael Littlejohn three-point. While the dunk would have excited the crowd, the three-pointer had nearly the same effect. Bad pass, but Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey able to track it down. And Tennessee State not losing possession. Here's DFD. And gives it to Dave Morris to set things back up. Shot clock winding down. Fitzpatrick Dorsey inside. He'll kick it out to Michael Littlejohn. His second three is in. Michael Littlejohn. A couple early threes for Michael Littlejohn. And Tennessee State now up by 12. And Stokely Chafee Jr. going to get hit with his second foul. He gets into foul trouble a lot. And already two fouls in this game. He's only played four minutes, and he's back to the bench. Inside, Quentin Dove, and Dove not able to hit. He's really been the only option as that pass over the head of Michael Littlejohn. I know he would have liked to catch that. Littlejohn has started hot from downtown. And a quick timeout here on the floor. 20-8, to 8, Tennessee State on a 13-0 run over the past four minutes of play. We'll be right back here for OBC Conference Action in Nashville. You're watching ESPN Plus. 
Pizza Hut in the NFL. We're the perfect team on game day. We go together like golf and girly. That one looks like a bunny. That one looks like pizza. Man, you think everything looks like pizza? Pizza's dope. Order a large pizza for $7.99 now. There's the great free. They go to Giannis. Stuffed at home! Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Great news for anyone who... Uh-uh. I'm the one who delivers the news around here. Liberty Mutual has just announced that they can customize your car insurance so that you only pay for what you need. This is Phoebe Buckley, on location. Uh, thanks, Phoebe. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the police station. Anybody here? I don't like the sound of that. We're getting out of here. Leon! My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. They're secretly making bioweapons. <laughs> Count me in. Available now for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Rated M for mature. Minutes and 53 seconds of game time. And for TSU, can they continue to build this lead? If you're UT Martin, who do you look to to stop it? Hawthorne Jr. can't get it to go. And Quentin Dove now, really the only thing that Martin has had going for it. Dove picking up foul number two. And that is not good if you're UT Martin. Dove's going to take a seat. He's got six of their eight points. Fitzpatrick Dorsey going cross court. Morris cut off at the baseline. Shot clock winding down. McKnight, nice shot from Kamar McKnight in the corner. And Tennessee State now on a 16-0 run and it is finally ended as Preston Parks dials up a triple. Big shot to end a massive Tennessee State run, which is still happening. It was a 16-0 run. Now it'll be 16-3, a 23-11, a 12-point advantage for the Tigers. We stop for a second to take a quick timeout. Tennessee State, until that last bucket by... UT Martin, the Tigers had held the Skyhawks scoreless for nearly five minutes. They had forced one, only one of their last nine field goals. The Tigers had played that kind of defense on UT Martin. So that last three by Parks, that was big to end the run because this thing looks like looked like it could get way worse and it still very well can here as we are approaching the midway point of the first half here's Egg Buddha going back outside to Little John and now is Morris we'll check with Penny Collins get a reset on the attacking plan Morris getting a screen someone's got to shoot it's McKnight and they cannot get the shot off as he was put in a bad spot. And Morris, Fitzpatrick, Dorsey will take a seat. In come Cheney and Trip Davis. Shot clock violations. If you're a head coach, that's gotta, it's gotta drive you up the wall. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get a shot off.
Parks using a screen inside. Preston Parks. Nice little move with the left hand. And Preston Parks now with five points. And an offensive foul is bringing this basketball the other way. Emmanuel Egbuda hit with the foul. First on Egbuda, third on the Tiger team. So who will UT Martin look to without leading scorer Quentin Dove? Got a little, little work cutting into that league lead. Could they do more? Yes, Craig Randall. Knocking down a three, his first points of the game. And Michael Littlejohn looking for an answer, can't find it. And the scramble for the rebound looked like it went off a TSU player. And it'll be Skyhawk basketball. So you saw Tennessee State go on a 16-0 run. Right now, UT Martin now on an 8-0 run. That's how they've responded since ending that 16-0 run. And it's a seven-point game. Three ball on the way. Preston Parks can't get it to go. Good effort on the rebound by Delfinko Bogan. And Martin at it again. Randall gets a pick. He'll take a three, not quite. McKnight goes outside. And Armani Cheney's pass is stolen. Hawthorne. Preston Parks tried to move, couldn't get it. And here comes Kamara McKnight the other way. And McKnight is drawing a foul. Craig Randall. 15th foul on the Tigers, first on Randall. So here we go. Dejon Henderson goes back out to Cheney. Now they're looking inside to Henderson. Henderson had it knocked away, but instead McKnight's to wide open three. And Tennessee State going to reset. After an offensive rebound on a missed Kamar McKnight three. Here's McKnight. He'll set it back up top. Trip Davis using a pick. Davis. Shot clock starting to wind down. Here's McKnight out to Cheney. Shot clock winding down. Cheney will have to take a long jumper. And Kevin Little comes away with it. Seven-point game. We've been there for a little while. As Jalen Gill's jumper doesn't go. Cheney looking outside, and it is stolen by Craig Randall, and Randall is fouled by Trip Davis. Good effort from Craig Randall as Armani Cheney is down at the other end of the court. And he's holding his left knee, apparently. Cheney is down. 7.48 to go. We're going to take a timeout here. It is 23-16, Tennessee State. We will check in on Armani Cheney at the other side of this break. You are watching ESPN+. Plus. Julie means more to me than anything. And I wanted to ask you before I ask her, may I have your permission to marry her. You're not just marrying her, you're marrying her whole world. 
Get zero down special financing on bridal purchases with the K Jewelers credit card. cashback match. Is this for real? Yep. We match all the cashback new card members earn at the end of their first year automatically. Woo! I got my money! It's hard to contain yourself, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, let it go! Woo! Get a dollar for dollar match at the end of your first year, only from Discover. Anybody here? My mission is to take down Umbrella's operation. They're secretly making bioweapons. Count me in. Available now. Rated mature. Parking splat. And we covered it. Talk to farmers. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. And we welcome you back into Nashville, Tennessee, where the home team, Tennessee State Tigers, lead the visiting UT Martin Skyhawks 23-17. Some rough news. 23-16, excuse me. Some rough news for Tennessee State senior point guard Armando Cheney, as you saw before we went to break, being hauled off the court, not in a stretcher, but carried off by two members of the coaching staff. His return unlikely, I would have to think, without any details, getting carried off. So tough break for the senior Armani Cheney out of Chicago, Illinois. So Michael Littlejohn doing his job. As Kamar McKnight gets double teamed inside. It's Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey. And he is hit in the face. And DFD going to take two shots. To try to end a 9-0 run by UT Martin. I think Jalen Gill was the one who fouled Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey. It was Gill's first foul as he takes a seat. And Fitzpatrick Dorsey gets ready to fire free throw number two. 70% for DFD on the season. And those two makes will add to his percentage. Eight point game now. Here's Parks inside. Parks going left off glass and in. Preston Parks now, seven points. And UT Martin, despite the eight players, are hanging right around in this one. McKnight almost loses the handle. McKnight going outside, trip Davis. Davis to Little John, and the shot clock winding down again. Someone's got to get something off. It's McKnight falling away. Henderson, the rebound. He can't get it to go. And we've got a foul. Looks like Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey. Getting called while going for a rebound. His first foul of the game. And you could hear the... UT Martin fans get excited about that call. The few that are here. Three on the way, not quite for Preston Parks. And that's good effort from Craig Randall. Just missed getting there in time. 
Michael Littlejohn. Going to be shooting a one on one. Randall picks up foul number two. And Little John gets ready to shoot a pit one and one. 81% free throw shooter on the season is Michael Little John. And Michael Little John, seven points for him already. Make it eight for Michael Littlejohn. Eight point lead for Tennessee State. Hawthorne. Can't get it to go off the left side of the rim. Chance for TSU now. DFD long three and the bank is open late. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey kind of looks at himself like, yeah, what was that? Shrugs his shoulders. And it's an 11 point TSU lead again, double digits. And a travel. Kevin Little hit with the walk. Five seventeen left to go here in the first half. Buddha losing it out of bounds. Tried a lot of spinning there, but just could not hold on to the basketball. And here comes UT Mark. Still looking to break that 20 point plateau here in the first half. Only eight players for UT Martin tonight. Inside, Emmanuel Legbuda stopping a sure two-point basket from Jalen Gill. Gill thought he was going to throw that down, and Egbuda came right over and said, absolutely not. You're going to have to earn it at the line. line. 82% free throw shooter is Jalen Gill. Not this time. Emmanuel Lake Buddha, that was his second foul. But save the Tigers a point. Because Gill had a wide open throwdown. Egg Buddha. Drawing a foul. And he's going to head to the line for a pair. Egg Buddha out of the Bronx, New York. He's a little ways from home here. Junior forward, so he's got another season here at Tennessee State. Guy who likes to scrap, get down and dirty in the paint. He's not afraid of contact. Only a 50% free throw shooter. He made both of his earlier free throw attempts and misses that one right there. Played his first two collegiate seasons at Navarro College in Texas as he misses 
that second freebie. Emmanuel Egbuda, the JC transfer, who's had a pretty decent season so far for the Tigers. Hawthorne Jr., yes. Derek Hawthorne Jr., finally, after missing his previous five shots, is on the board. And it's a seven-point game. Hawthorne Jr. was chucking away, and he finally connects. Buddha, Dante Fitzpatrick, Dorsey. Net torture for DFD. And it's a 10 point lead again for Tennessee State. Eight points for Fitzpatrick, Dorsey. As the Tigers nearly force a turnover. Scramble for the ball, and it is a jump ball. Possession arrow going to give it to Tennessee State. And we are under four minutes in this first half. 3.19 to go. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be back to Nashville. Tennessee State leading UT Martin 33-23. You're watching ESPN Plus. We'll be right back. college basketball. These laces are for her and for every child who has battled cancer. Help us remember them and wear Princess Lacey's laces for someone you love. Let's finish this together. The money from every pair helps fight pediatric cancer. It's time to lace up for Lacey. It has earned its place among America's top private golf courses. A masterpiece of architectural design, Tom Farzio has created a world-class golf experience among a distinctive blend of dramatic scenery and natural beauty. Its accommodations are luxurious, while a full-service concierge team pampers your most valued clients and creates lasting memories for family and friends. Victoria National, America's private retreat. Double digits, 10 point lead with just over three minutes to go. Michael Littlejohn bringing the ball up instead of Armani Chaney who left earlier. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey going inside. He'll throw out to Davis. Davis keeping it inbounds and here's Henderson on the block. Henderson and he'll get hit with a walk as he was guarded tightly by Menfeke Sano. Sano's a big guy, 6'10", sophomore out of Philadelphia. He looks every bit of that 6'10". I can tell you that right now. There he is with a pick. Long triple, Craig Randall. His second long ball of the evening. And we've got a seven-point game, Craig Randall. McKnight, no answer, and hauled in by Parks. And now what's UT Martin going to do heading into the half? Here's Little going glass. That ball knocked out of bounds. Looks like it went off of Sano. So TSU going to get the ball. TSU looking inside again, Henderson. 
And that is going to be an offensive foul. Dejon Henderson. Knocking over Minfeki Sano. And the feeling about this game is you feel like Tennessee State has controlled it for the majority of the action. However, only a seven point lead and could be even smaller if Martin's able to do anything. That ball stolen, indecisive there from Randall, and here's McKnight the other way. Kamar McKnight now with 10 points. And a nine-point lead for the Tigers. Little going outside. Baseline almost stolen. There's Dove able to salvage it, and shot clock has been violated. Good defense from Tennessee State. They'll get it back. 107 to go here. Nice crowd on hand tonight for the Tigers' first home game in a while. First and four since January 12th. They've been on the road for two weeks. And an offensive foul looks like it's going against Henderson. Dejon Henderson. Picking up foul number two. Two quick fouls on him in a rapid succession. He'll have to watch himself. Don't want to pick up that third before the end of the period. And some frustration. Battling for a rebound leads to a travel on Quentin Dove. Dove has only logged eight minutes in the first half. Got into some foul trouble and had been on the bench. For a good portion of this first stanza. Could be the final possession here for the Tigers. What have they got in store? McKnight's three ball, no. And the shot clock off now as UT Martin will likely hold for a final attempt. It's Preston Parks triggering it, using a screen. Parks trying to draw a foul. McKnight at the buzzer. He beat it. Oh, Kamar McKnight almost. Had that one go down. Good defense, good effort by McKnight. As Tennessee State leads UT Martin 35-26 as we are headed to halftime. We'll be back to Nashville, Tennessee. Minutes before the start of the second half, you are watching ESPN+. Plus. <laughs> You don't want to cancel your plan. Achoo! Cancel your cold. The one pill power of new Advil multi symptom cold and flu knocks out your worst symptoms. Cancel your cold, not your plans. New Advil multi symptom cold and flu. Wow. What a nice place. All right, Grandma. What are you doing here? Eat, eat. Okay. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye bye. Fender Biter. Seen it, covered it. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Celebrate Valentine's.
Valentine's Day with hundreds of gifts under $1.99. And find other great deals on gifts she'll love at prices you'll love too with 25 to 50% off everything. Only at K. Here we go. Discover. I like your card, but I'm absolutely not paying an annual fee. Discover has no annual fees. Really? Yeah. We just don't believe in them. Oh, nice. You would not believe how long I've been rehearsing that. No annual fee on any card, only from Discover. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the police station. Anybody here? I don't like the sound of that. We're getting out of here. Leon! My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. They're secretly making bioweapons. <laughs> Count me in. Available now for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Rated M for mature. Gary, Gary, Gary. I am proud of you, my man. Making simple, smart cashback choices. With Quicksilver from Capital One, you're earning unlimited 1.5% cashback on every purchase everywhere. Like on that new laptop. Quicksilver keeps things simple, Gary. And smart, like you. <laughs> and I like that. I guess I am pretty smart. Don't let that go to your head, Gary. What's in your wallet? Let's do this, baby. I had to be Dion in baseball. In prime time in football. He could be a receiver, baseball player, whatever you want. It's an American dream. Playing both sports within a 24-hour span. Dion's Double Play. Available now on the ESPN app. Wow, what a nice place. All right, Grandma, what are you doing here? Eat, eat. OK. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. Take down Umbrella's entire operation. They're secretly making bioweapons. Count me in. Available now for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Rated M for mature. Julie means more to me than anything. And I wanted to ask you, before I ask her, may I have your permission to marry her? You're not just marrying her, you're marrying her whole world. Get zero down special financing on bridal purchases with the K Jewelers credit card. Introducing E-Trade Personalized Investments. Professionally managed portfolios customized to help meet your financial goals know what you're invested in and how it's performing so you can spend more time floating about on your inflatable swan don't go down oh no balloon your car call me a flyby ballooning seen it covered it we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two we are farmers bum, 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 bum. For those days when the weather ignores your plans, you can be protected from higher fares. Introducing a rewards program made to keep modern life moving. I'm a pro at sculpting flowers. I'm a pro at wearing flowers. I'm a pro at ordering flowers. Ooh, Troy Aikman? 
At ProFlowers.com, you can get your choice of a dozen roses with a free glass base. This Valentine's Day, go to ProFlowers.com. Click on the mic and enter the promo code for your choice of a dozen roses with a free glass base for $24.99 plus shipping and handling. Order like a pro. Shop ProFlowers.com, code ROMEO. There's the great break. They go to Giannis. Stops at home. That graceful arc, that sweeping strike. Here, it's more than the motion. It's the momentum, the charge that builds, the history that happens. It's all in the swing at the Masters. There's the great free. They go to Giannis. Stops at home. Let's do this, baby. I had to be Dion in baseball, in prime time in football. He could be a receiver, baseball player, whatever you want. It's an American dream, playing both sports within a 24-hour span. Dion's Double Play, available now on the ESPN app. I went through your return line by line and everything looks great. Oh, good. We're here to help. I'm actually calling you from my yacht. You know they can't see you, right? Is that true? Oh, she's right. Are you kidding me? Spent $9 on this coconut. TurboTax Live, now with CPAs on demand. The let's have one more. Two. Make that two more plans. Sweetie. Let us help with your plan. <laughs> we can do that. Sounds like a plan. Start a plan that flexes with yours. New York Life. The need more space. Is your mom in there? Since Nana's moved in plan. Nope. Let us help with your plan. Yeah. We can do that. Well, that sounds like a plan. Start a plan that flexes with yours. New York Life. Julie means more to me than anything. And I wanted to ask you, before I ask her, may I have your permission to marry her? You're not just marrying her. You're marrying her whole world. Get zero down special financing on bridal purchases with the K Jewelers credit card. Here we go. Discover. I like your card, but I'm absolutely not paying an annual fee. Discover has no annual fees. Really? Yeah. We just don't believe in them. Oh, nice. You would not believe how long I've been rehearsing that. No annual fee on any card, only from Discover. Don't go down. Oh, no. <laughs> Ballooned your car. A flyby ballooning. Seen it, covered it. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Anybody here? My mission is to take down Umbrella's operation. They're secretly making bioweapons. Count me in. Available now. Rated mature. Pizza Hut in the NFL. We're the perfect team on game day. We go together like golf and girly. That one looks like a bunny. That one looks like pizza. Man, you think everything looks like pizza. Pizza's dope. Order a large pizza for $7.99 now. It, it makes me feel like Capital One Saver card. Earn 4% cash back on dining and 4% on entertainment. Now when you go out, you cash in. What's in your wallet? Have you ever worked for Dr. Francis? Oh yeah, he's okay. Just okay? Guess who just got reinstated? Well, not officially. Nervous? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Don't worry about it, we'll figure it out. I'll see you in there. Just okay is not okay, especially when it comes to your network. AT&T is America's best wireless network according to America's biggest test. Now with 5GE. More for your thing. That's our thing.
parking splat. And we covered it. Talk to farmers. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. My mission is to take down Umbrella's operation. They're secretly making bioweapons. Count me in. Available now. Rated mature. Julie means more to me than anything. And I wanted to ask you, before I ask her, may I have your permission to marry her? You're not just marrying her. You're marrying her whole world. Get zero down special financing on bridal purchases with the K Jewelers credit card. We're more than just meeting. Welcome back to Nashville, Tennessee for the second half of action between Tennessee State and UT Martin, 35-26, as we are just a couple minutes away here from beginning the start of the second half. Nine-point lead for the Tigers, who were close to blowing this thing wide open. UT Martin hit a few timely three-pointers to get themselves within striking distance, and that's where we sit right now with the second half rapidly approaching. A little bit of a breakdown from the first half. Field goal percentage, Tennessee State 50% from the field, 11 of 22. 7 of 11 from downtown, that is well over their season average. DSU 64% from distance. And UT Martin, 36% from downtown, but those threes, as I mentioned, were timely to get them back into this game. When it looked like things were starting to slip away. And here's a quick stat comparison in the first, from the first half. Free throw percentage, good for Tennessee State. Rebounding, they're winning that battle. They've turned the ball over a few more times. But that was when they were trying to break, trying to score, and the next thing you know, they turn the basketball over. But a nine-point lead, they're going to be happy with that against a UT Martin team with only eight players. And some entertainment right here in front of me, a couple of the fans getting down with some dance moves. Impressive stuff. <laughs> Leading scores in that first half. Kamar McKnight had 10 points for TSU. That he leads all scores right now. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey and Michael Littlejohn each with eight points for the Tigers. And that has helped to build this nine-point lead. As for UT Martin, their star player, Quentin Dove. Went out a little bit early with some foul trouble. Only played eight minutes of a possible 20 in that first half. Dub started out really well. Six points early, but had to head to the bench, and he'll be on the floor here with two personal fouls to start the second half. And for Tennessee State, They can continue what they did in the first half. It should be a walk away easy win for them, but nothing's ever easy in college hoops as Gill misses the first field goal attempt of the second half. Jalen Gill, three points, one of four after that miss. Looking for Chafee Jr. down low, working on Gill. Chafee Jr. losing the basketball. And Dove comes away with it. Hawthorne could not hold on to it, and that ball out of bounds. 
turnover, it'll be Tiger basketball. Tennessee State could get to three and six if they can pull off a conference win here. Meanwhile, UT Martin would drop to one and eight. So we want to start picking up conference wins and try to make a push for that OVC tournament. Just getting in the tournament is huge because that could lead to an NCAA tournament. Michael Littlejohn from downtown. Emmanuel Lake Buddha battling. And Littlejohn comes up with the rebound. He'll fire another three. And a foul down low. Looks like it's going to go on Egg Buddha as he is having some words with the official. But you look at that conference tournament, you just want to get enough wins to play in it. The OVC sends, it's not uncommon for the eight seed to come in and win that tournament. You just get there. That's what you want to do. And then it's anybody's ball game. We've seen Belmont. Clearly one of the better teams in this conference. Miss out on the big dance. A couple, clearly the best program, miss out on an NCAA tournament berth because of that conference tournament. And it's anybody's to win. As Gill is fouled. And it looks like that one will be going against Egg Buddha. Who will pick up foul number four and likely head to the bench. Gill goes the line for a pair. Pretty good free throw shooter despite that first miss, nearly 82%, a shade above 82% actually. Look at Brian Penny Collins' sweater. That thing is awesome. It's awesome. I want one. Let's get more shots of that sweater. 0 for 2 for Gill, an 82% shooter. Surprising, and the lead for Tennessee State stays at nine. Still looking for a basket are the Tigers two minutes in to this second half. This is where they want to build a lead and not give this eight-man squad a chance to come back. DFD, no. Kevin Little, here he comes with the ball. Flips it right to Kamar McKnight. McKnight to Little John, and Little John able to finish. Easily. Michael Littlejohn now in double figures. He's got 10, and here's Dove answering the other way. So a quick basket exchange, and the lead stays right where it's at. DFD looking outside, that ball batted away by Hawthorne. Looking for Michael Littlejohn on the outside. Littlejohn, couple threes in this game. Good outside shooter. Three point percentage, is over 30. And a guy who they think can be a good big time shooter for this team is there he goes, a long three, and there it is, Michael Littlejohn. 13 points now. He leads all scores. And TSU back up double digits. White outside to Parks. Parks will pull a three and catches nothing but air. And here comes Tennessee State. Davis to Chafee Jr. And he cannot hold on to it. That would have been a likely dunk right there for Chafee Jr. And what will UT Martin do to give themselves an opportunity? Dove inside and Chafee Jr. hit with a foul. Third on him. Third. Third. And 
Gwen Dove going to step to the line. 80% free throw shooter. Team's leading scorer cannot get the first to go. Quinn Dove, just 11 minutes so far in this game. We played tw nearly 24. And that is his average for a game, 24 minutes for Dove. Inside, looking for Kamar McKnight. That goes out of his hands and out of bounds, and we've reached the under 16 minutes mark here in the second half. 15.58 to go. Tennessee State up 11. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching ESPN+. Plus. Such a simple gesture, an effortless contraction of muscles, a flash of teeth. Healthy smiles have the power to spread joy, courage, and love. When you smile, it transforms you and the world around you. So if you feel the urge, go ahead and use that simple gesture to spread joy. Keep your smile healthy and strong. Choose Delta Dental, protecting more smiles than anyone. Medicare supplements, Part D drug plans, and Dental Vision Silver. We've got you covered. Did you know that Kentucky is home to nearly 1,000 species of wildlife? The Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife has a team of scientists dedicated to the monitoring and study of animals that are not hunted, fished, or trapped. We work every day to improve Kentucky's landscape so that these species can thrive. And now there's a way for you to jump in and help. When you become a member of Kentucky Wild, we'll work side by side and do our part to keep Kentucky wild. And welcome back to Nashville, Tennessee. The Tennessee State Tigers leading the UT Martin Skyhawks by 11. Just under 16 to play. And offensive foul negates the Craig Randall three. Hawthorne picks up his first foul. DFD inside, and he'll draw a foul. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey fouled by Quentin Dove. So Dove picks up foul number three. And if Fitzpatrick Dorsey hits both of these, he'll be the third Tiger in double figures this game. Points pretty evenly spread around between Fitzpatrick Dorsey, who's at the line now, Michael Littlejohn, who leads the team with 13, and Kamar McKnight with 10. And now Fitzpatrick Dorsey with 10. So three Tigers in double figures, and we still have over 15 minutes to go. White is fouled. Excuse me, Kevin Little is fouled. That one on Dave Morris, who picks up his first foul. Randall three, no. Rebounded. Randall thought about it again. He'll go inside. Hawthorne back to Randall. Randall flips it up. And a nice tip follow dunk. Jalen Gill. Got a big smile on his face after that. And why wouldn't he? Getting up and throwing it down in traffic. Fitzpatrick. 
Fitzpatrick Dorsey slashing to the lane. He wanted a foul and scores anyways. Two teams trading buckets. Nice hop step move, but could not finish it with Kevin Little. Ahead it's Little John to Henderson. And that one looks like it's off Craig Randall. Michael Littlejohn looking inside for Henderson, who gets a hand on it. And Fitzpatrick Dorsey able to knock it into the hands of Kamara McKnight. Morris, he'll trigger a three. Not quite, but Henderson there for the rebound. He can't get it to go. And on the break, Delfinko Bogan gives it ahead. And the foul, it looks like that's Craig Randall. So good break from UT Martin and Craig Randall. Picks up another two points. And Randall's going to head to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Make it a ten-point game. Credit UT Martin hanging around, only eight players. As Randall knocks down his second free throw of the game. And the lead now for Tennessee State is at ten. Still a lot of time left in this game. Seems like TSU is so close to breaking open on a major run here and really kind of blowing this game open. Good save from Kamara McKnight. McKnight, step back triple, off front rim. It was lined up right, just not enough power. Bucket and the foul, Kevin Little. And now it's an eight point game and Little's got a chance to make it seven. Kevin Little. His first bucket of the game missed his previous four shots. And Little converts his first free throw attempt of the game. Seven point game. DFD inside, kicks out to Michael Littlejohn. His three, not going to fall. And here comes Preston Parks. Parks will leave it. And Randall scoring to make it a five-point game. So Tennessee State, who had led by double digits, more than double digits, has now had their lead cut to five, 44, 39, 13, 11 to go. And Penny Collins definitely wanted to talk about this. Not what he wants with his team seemingly in command for most of that first half. And an 8-0 run from UT Martin in only a minute six of game time. TSU has missed its last four shots. Turnovers, not a good number tonight for the Tigers. They've had 16 of them. flirting with potential foul trouble. You know Quentin Dove 
for UT Martin. He's got three. Dave Morris also three for TSU. Stokely Chafee Jr. also three for TSU. And Emmanuel Egbuda remaining on the bench with four. So if TSU's not careful, they could have a few guys in real trouble here in this game and only a five point lead with just over 13 minutes to play here. Can the Tigers end an 8-0 run by the Skyhawks? Here's DFD working on Randall. He'll go, no, but Henderson there to clean up the garbage. Henderson, second basket. Randall. He likes the three ball, but he'll go in here. He'll flip it out. Long triple. Kevin Little, no, but right there for the putback, Jalen Gill. And UT Martin has done more than answer Tennessee State so far in this second half. Martin winning the second half, 15 to 11. as Michael Littlejohn throws it away. Little up top, and Craig Randall getting his team to explode off the bench and a couple O's from the fans. Three-point game now as UT Martin is on a 13-2 run. Almost another steal. Here's DFD, kicks it outside. Littlejohn thought about a three, but good defense by Delfinko Bogan. Shot clock winding down. That ball thrown close to out of bounds, and Tennessee State probably lucky to keep this basketball. Two seconds left on the shot clock. We're going to take a quick timeout. It is now a three-point game, 11.33 to go. Tennessee State up by three. We'll be right back to Nashville on ESPN+. Plus. Introducing your passport to adventure. The all-new passport from Honda. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the police station. Anybody here? I don't like the sound of that. We're getting out of here. Leon! My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. They're secretly making bioweapons. <laughs> Count me in. Available now for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Rated M for mature. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Great news for anyone who... Uh-uh. I'm the one who delivers the news around here. Liberty Mutual has just announced that they can customize your car insurance so that you only pay for what you need. This is Phoebe Buckley, on location. Uh, thanks, Phoebe. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Pizza Hut in the NFL. We're the perfect team on game day. We go together like golf and girly. That one looks like a bunny. That one looks like pizza. Man, you think everything looks like pizza. And welcome back to Nashville, where the competition in this OVC conference battle has really started to heat up. Tennessee State leading the visiting UT Martin by three as the Tigers... Had just two seconds to get a shot off right there. They don't, and it's another turnover, shot clock violation. And UT Martin has really picked up its level of play. 12-2 run over the last two minutes and 46 seconds. The Tennessee State lead wiped away rather quickly. Three ball, Preston Parks cannot get it to drop. And that one going off Delfinko Bogan. And a good turn of events for Tennessee State. Big lead for the Tigers. They now lead by just three. We are approaching the midway point of the half. Kamar McKnight from downtown 
No. And it's Kevin Little who comes up with the rebound. Kevin Little has been active. Good assist man. Long three from Randall, and he buries it. Craig Randall has come to play in the second half. He's got 17 points, and we have a tie game with over 10 minutes to play. And Dave Morris hit with the walk. And the run continuing for UT Martin as Tennessee State is fallen on a rough patch. 15-2 run for UT Martin. Meanwhile, Tennessee State has not scored in nearly three minutes. Parks, nice move with the left, but can't get it to drop. Chafee Jr., the rebound. Midway through the second half, and that Tennessee State lead entirely erased. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey able to corral that. Kamar McKnight, guy in his face, three won't go. Battling for the rebound. And it looks like a jump ball. Is that what we've got? I think it will be a jump ball as Chafee Jr. and Delfinko Bogan. On the ground for it. Possession arrow gonna stay with the Tigers. And if you are a Tiger player, you're starting to wonder. We were in total control of this game. And back comes UT Martin in their eight-man squad tonight. It's Craig Randall has gotten hot and been big time over the last couple minutes of play. Morris into the lane. Nice move down low, but cannot get it to drop. And Jalen Gill is fouled on the rebound. And Gill gonna head to the line for a one and one as TSU commits its seventh team foul of the half. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey picking up foul number two and Gill over 80% from the line. giving UT Martin the lead. Which they haven't had since the opening minutes. Gill second down and now a two point lead for UT Martin. Fitzpatrick Dorsey working on Kevin Little. He'll go outside to McKnight. McKnight has it knocked. But Tennessee State keeps the ball. Scoring droughts has been big for the Tigers. Will they end it here? Morris inside to Chafee Jr. And the two-handed slam gives Tennessee State a much needed basket. And I can't tell you how much they needed that one. We're now even at 48 all. Stokely Chafee Jr. Providing the drought ender. Long three in the face of DFD was Bogan. And a three point lead for UT Martin. Bogan's first points and they were from deep. DFD trying to answer, and Bogan comes away with that rebound. Martin starting to slow things down a little bit. 
Poked away, nice steal. Dave Morris, I believe, poked it, and he'll leave it for DFD, who is fouled by Preston Parks. And really a good foul from Parks because that would have been an easy two points. And we've reached the eight minute mark remaining in regulation. 51-48, Tennessee State trailing the visiting UT Martin Skyhawks. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back to Nashville. You're watching ESPN Plus. It has earned its place among America's top private golf courses. A masterpiece of architectural design, found by the most familiar world-class golf experience, and the distinctive blend of the maximum and the drinking. It's a combination of luxurious, but its full service consideration and careful hands by the clients and creates lasting memories for family and friends. With Tony and Richards, America's proud and true. You don't become a legend by being distracted. Legends are born out of discipline and focus. We are Legends Bank. Committed, strong, and growing stronger. Be part of something legendary. Parkers, the best of all things Southern. A Southern community kitchen. The best in life picking. to Nashville, Tennessee, OVC Conference Basketball. Tennessee State trailing the visiting UT Martin Skyhawks by three as Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey knocks down his first of two free throw attempts to make it a two-point game. Tennessee State had command of this game. They've lost that control and now it's anybody's to win with a lot of time left. Here's Randall. He's been huge this second half. Randall shot, not able to drop. And here comes Kamar McKnight. McKnight, and he'll get hit with a walk. Took some contact from Delfinko Bogan, but no call as TSU shocks up yet another turnover. 20 for them now this evening. If I'm UT Martin, I'm looking for Randall in some capacity. Craig Randall's been absolutely huge. Bogan denied by Chafee Jr. But right back to Kevin Little, who drops a huge three for the Skyhawks. Great defense followed by exactly what TSU did not want to see, a triple. Here's DFD, corner three. Can he answer? No. But Egbuda there for the rebound. Way to battle Emmanuel Egbuda as he collects the offensive board and cuts the lead to two. That was a big effort for Tennessee State as we're coming down the home stretch. Parks will go back out to Randall. He'll trigger a three. Randall almost had another. And here comes Morris, loses it off of his leg. And Dave Morris picking up turnover number three. And for UT Martin, I got to think, given your rotation, given your top player has three fouls, you want to limit possessions as much as possible. Dove denied. 
but right there to get his own denial and put it back. Quentin Dove. Dove in double figures now. Has not played a lot of minutes, but has been effective when he has been in the game. Chafee Jr. inside to Egbuda. He goes to DFD. Nice little reverse from Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey. So Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey now with 16 points. The foul is going to be on Michael Littlejohn trying to prevent Quentin Dove from doing anything. And Dove going to go back to the line where he is an 80% free throw shooter. Three of four so far tonight. Good foul from Michael Littlejohn. No points on that trip for UT Martin. Down low is Chafee Jr. Trying to work something, and I believe he stepped on the line. Check that. He was fouled. Just the fourth team foul on the Skyhawks. So we've got a while until TSU hits the bonus. Up top, looking for Emmanuel Legbuda, and he's fouled. Like the idea from Michael Littlejohn, and TSU going to inbound again. So two more fouls will on UT Martin will put Tennessee State in the bonus. It's Michael Littlejohn throws in here. Chafee Jr. almost got him to a three. DFD thought about a three and he'll reset. Shot clock now at 10. Penny Collins screaming at his team to do something. Here's McKnight. Off balance shot, and he is fouled. Kamar McKnight. Gonna head to the line with a chance to tie this game as we are under five minutes to go. McKnight just a 67% free throw shoot. And a big free throw there. Now with a chance to even it up. Trip Davis going to check back in for Emmanuel Egbuda. Egbuda, a reminder, has four fouls. So Penny Collins opting for Davis. Give Egbuda a chance to avoid picking up that foul. And can Kamar McKnight tie it? No, he can't. But battling for his own rebound, cannot quite come up with it. And if you're UT Martin, you know you're slowing it down here. Little working on Davis. He'll go back to Randall. Randall's hit some big threes. Shot clock winding down. Randall trying to free himself up. Working on Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey. Step back, no. And Gill comes up with the rebound, but hit with a foul. And I believe that is number seven as a team. So Chafee Jr. going to head to the line for a one and one. 70% free throw shooter. It's 
Martin fans screaming miss. Has no effect on Chafee Jr. And we're tied. And now an opportunity for the lead. And Chafee Jr. Only played 16 minutes this game, but gives Tennessee State the lead with just over four to play. Michael Littlejohn, solid defense. He'll flip it ahead to DFD, who'll go back outside to Littlejohn, and Tennessee State going to slow it down. Almost a quick shot, maybe one they would have regret. Littlejohn, a deep three. And Chafee Jr. almost there to stuff it home. Could not quite finish on the follow. Big turn of events, which could have been a huge bucket. Little up top and a two-handed slam from Gill. Jalen Gill reclaiming the lead for UT Martin. On a big time alley oop slam. Jalen Gill, double figures in points now after that finish. And we have reached the under four minute timeout. 3.28 to go. A one point game here at the Gentry Center as Tennessee State trails by a point. Had the lead by one. UT Martin has battled back, taken the lead. Well, they have not gone up by any more than two to three points. It's been a few points. One basket, that's it. Tennessee State has hung right in there. They had a big lead earlier. But with 3.28 to go, can the Tigers do what needs to be done to beat this eight-man roster of UT Martin tonight? UT Martin winning this half by 10 points. And right now, Benny Collins trying to get maybe his most effective play. What will Tennessee State do? Will they look for a long shot from Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey, possibly Michael Littlejohn, or will they look inside? to one of their big guys up front. Foul trouble, Emmanuel Legbuda's got four. And he's it. A couple of other players on both teams with three. But Egbuda with four fouls will remain on the bench. Three twenty-eight to go here. One point deficit for the Tigers. Little John will go to McKnight. And back over to Little John. Fitzpatrick Dorsey. Couple jab steps. He'll pull a long deuce. Big time shot. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey. And Tennessee State with the lead as Fitzpatrick Dorsey now with 18 points on the evening. Three on the way, got it! Delfinko Bogan. Teams trading buckets and Bogan with a massive shot there. Who's going to respond for the Tigers? Look inside. It's Chafee Jr. Nice look inside. Chafee Jr. to Trip Davis. And Brian Collins going to talk it over as Chafee Jr.'s nose plug fell out there. But a nice look from Chafee Jr. inside to Davis. And we're even at 61 apiece.
as we break up the timeouts here. Tied at 61. This one coming down to the wire. You could pretty much guarantee that at this point. Been a tightly contested game. Saw two big runs by both teams, and now they've traded buckets. This coming down to maybe who wants it more. As Kevin Little is guarded tight, trying to get something down low to Gill. Gill throws it away. Chafee Jr. on the break. Two-handed slam. Stokely Chafee Jr. Big time steal, big time finish. Tennessee State now with a two point lead and under two to go. Big defense from Chafee Jr. And Michael Littlejohn frustrated, and so is Penny Collins. Littlejohn hit with a foul. And that means free throws pending for the Skyhawks. Preston Parks going to be the man to try to even things up. 72%, shade under 73 from the line. Preston Parks getting the one and one. Gets his first. Preston Parks cool under pressure. Parks' his first free throw of the game, and he knocks it down. Can he tie it? Yes, he can. All even at 63. And we have got 90 seconds to play. Chafee Jr. looking for Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey, and he is hit with a push off, an offensive foul. And it's going to be Skyhawk basketball. As the officials are going to review the call right now. know what they're looking at here. Can't possibly be any kind of a flagrant foul. still conferring. That was a 10th team foul on TSU. So it's double bonus free throws the rest of the way. So we check and take a look at the replay. Look like it looked like a clear offensive foul from the replay. picking up his third, and here we go. No margin for error for either team. In the hands of Craig Randall. Now Kevin Little's got it. Little, outside, three from Bogan. He is fouled, and the shot. Delfinko Bogan. Big time shot from him. A chance for a four point play, and that is backbreaking if you're Tennessee State. Bogan has had a couple ridiculous threes like that, and none bigger than that one right there. His third three point field goal, and now a chance for four. 
And Bogan now in double figures as TSU's down four with only a buck 05 to play. They've got a score on this possession. Fitzpatrick Dorsey, he'll take a long three, got it. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey, big time three, answering Bogan, and he's cut the lead to just a point. Guy in his face did not matter. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey, 21 points with that made three-pointer, and it's a one-point game again. Big time shot from DFD. Who missed a few games, but is now back. And you can see his value with that big time three. You can hear the AOB back in effect here at TSU as well. They're loud, they're excited, they're hoping their Tigers could pull off a comeback here with 50 seconds remaining. And Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey, if you saw the replay, had Quentin Dove in his face. Didn't matter. Fitzpatrick Dorsey approaching a season high, had that season high 26 points at Lipscomb five points away from that. And if we go into overtime, he very well may get it. So 50 seconds to go. How will Tennessee State play defense here? They play defense, they get the ball back, and they can take as much time as they want. Because if they get the basketball now, the shot clock will pretty much be dead. Kevin Little running as much time as he can off the clock. Little goes outside to Randall. Randall working on DFD. Defended well. Inside and stolen by Fitzpatrick Dorsey. Tripp Davis on the move. He'll slow things up. And with 15 seconds, do the Tigers hold for a win? Fitzpatrick Dorsey. Going inside, left hand, scoop shot and scores. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey, the go ahead bucket. And a timeout called by UT Martin. Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey, a big time move, has given the Tigers a one point lead with 3.2 seconds left to go. The steal by Fitzpatrick Dorsey, the finish, left handed at the other end. And Tennessee State, can they hold on and avoid a buzzer beater from UT Martin? Also avoid a foul. Skyhawks, they're gonna have an opportunity. You saw them throw that ball in. They should be able to inbound around midcourt. Can TSU avoid a miracle shot? They've been in this situation before. Earlier this year against Eastern Kentucky. When TSU was able to hold on and win that game by a single point. Similar situation. Colonels had a chance to win it, could not score. Now, Skyhawks almost in a similar position. Who's gonna trigger it? It's gonna be Craig Randall. He's inbounding for UT Martin. Now they could get the ball to half court and still call a timeout. That is possible if they decide to go that route or they take a shot. Do you get the ball to half court and call a timeout with about two seconds or do you shoot it here? 
It's Parks. He'll heave for the win. Off front rim. And Tennessee State survives. Preston Parks. That was closer than the Tigers probably liked, but it does not go. And Tennessee State with a big time win here at home. 68-67 over UT Martin. Twice for the second time this season. An opportunity for them to lose a close one. They do not. They hold on at home here and get a much needed win for their third of the conference season. That two and six will go to three and six. UT Martin will drop to one and eight. Your player of the night for the Tennessee State Tigers, you know who it is, Dante Fitzpatrick Dorsey. 23 points on seven of 13 shooting, a perfect six of six from the free throw line. He added five rebounds to go along with that. And DFD got it done for Tennessee State late. Had the big three, had the steal, had the go-ahead bucket. He was the man tonight for the Tigers. Got a little bit of help from Kamar McKnight, who finished with 11 points, and Michael Littlejohn, who had 13. As for UT Martin, big night for Craig Randall. 17 points for Randall. Had a gigantic second half to bring UT Martin back into this game. Three other players figure, finishing in double figures. Quentin Dove, one of those guys. Also, Delfinkel Bogan, he had 10. And Jalen Gill with a strong night, 11 points, five rebounds. So four players in double figures for UT Martin. Take a quick look at those team comparisons. Tennessee State winning the field goal percentage battle and the free throws great tonight for the Tigers, 81. Turnovers well done by UT Martin. Only eight players tonight, and they forced 22 of them. But not enough for the Skyhawks as Tennessee State able to hit a late basket to win it. 68 to 67, your final score as Tennessee State beats UT Martin by a single point. I am Joe Leadingham. You've been watching ESPN Plus. Make sure to join us next time on Saturday for the Tennessee State Tigers men's and women's games. For now, enjoy your evening and good night from Nashville. This has been a broadcast of ESPN+.